Hey folks, Jimmy here in Strange Vermont. Some of my stones and bones and fossils. I have some stone tools. Some people tell me that what I have isn't real because I show the images. I mean, if you see an elephant like this, It's all, it's an elephant. It doesn't look like it's a tool at all. Yet you see this, there's definitely an image in this. The giant, but this is a tool. This is a uh, very sharp cutting tool. They both have images, but one's a tool and one is a statue of some kind. An effigy, I guess you'd call it. This one here is another elephant, but it has a waist on it. And it actually would have been hafted onto a stick. Used as a weapon. Buffalo. It's a grinding surface, which is what it is. It's even got an eye. This is a double sided axe, maybe. Two cats on it. Wouldn't want to get hit with that. Could have been a staff. Went, went on top of a staff. It's pretty heavy. It's about eight pounds. Looks like a weapon to me, though. This has imagery all in it. See the owl? The face. That's a stone axe right there. The serpent. The fangs. And the Indian guy. It's another elephant that's would have been uh, hafted onto a handle. It's been pecked and carved. Lots of elephants. Here's a skull. Mr. Skull. There's an elongated head. <clears throat> I've got a lot of these uh, cutting tools. Knives. Crescent knives. This one's a nice one. It's got a square bit on it. Real sharp end. Blade. There's another one with a bit. A sharp blade. I show the effigies because um, they're so fantastic. That's what I like to do. But a lot of them are stone tools. Like this would be a knife. It's got the face on it. But it is a knife. Same with this one. See the shape of it? It's the sharp edge. It's been used. Same as that. Same shape. Here's an awl. Really nice piece. And these are all found in the same place. Very nice awl. Very sharp. This glassy quartz is very hard. There's a pendant, an elephant pendant. Greenstone elephant pendant. Lots of elephants. This blue stone I found about 30 inches below the soil, not too far from the house. There's no effigies, no 
Base is nothing in it, but it's a real strange blue stone. Another blue one. Find a lot of blue stones around here. Hi, hey, little puppy, you want to come up? Come on. She's trying to get up on the couch. Come on, jump up. When I show the images, and some people will look at them and say they're not real. But I don't show that they come off of tools, things like this. You know, I can show the image and show the giant, which is what I like to do. But I could also show it as a stone tool, which is very cool. It's a nice piece. Imagine filleting a mammoth with that. And these aren't... Um, Native American. These are Paleo-American. These are very old, ancient. That's why you have the elephants. Stone tools here in strange Vermont. Here's a nice axe, beveled, made out of quartz. It's got a waist in it. See the waist? That's how they used to attach these. I call them notched, notched axes. All kinds of weird stuff. And there's that big axe right there. It's about 20 pounds. And there's another one. And there's another one there. There's a giant pestle over there. And there's that big elongated skull thanks for watching jimmy here on paleo mountain in strange vermont